Desperate search for the man Hillsborough authorities say raped four women and held 25 people hostage overnight at the Cambridge Wood Apartments. Investigators just moments ago identified who that man is. Hillsborough deputies at Tampa police just revealed they now have a warrant out for the arrest of 24 year old Charlie Christopher Bates, and they say he is very dangerous. Our Laura Harris has been following the search for Bates since very early this morning. She begins our team coverage now with the latest on the hunt. <laughs> And Dia, that press conference just ended. As you can see behind me, still a very active scene back here. This is the uh, media staging area, what they've got going on. So how did they know this was the man they were looking for? Well, they tell us there have been some similar instances, some similar crimes in the area in the past couple of months. And in one of those crimes, this Christopher Bates, he apparently went into a woman's home. He was about to sexually assault her, but she started to pray with him. It was at that point where he stopped. At some point, he cut himself, though. They took that DNA evidence and they've matched it somehow with what's going on today. Now, they're also telling people in the neighborhood they need to make sure they're remaining vigilant because this man is very dangerous. Definitely it was one suspect in that particular incident. And there's physical evidence at that location, fingerprints that have been uh, identified to Chris Bates. And all of the victims said there was one suspect. And he does go by the name Chris Bates. Apparently, one of those uh, victims from earlier today told police he called himself Chris, told her, my name is Chris. Please do not call the police, the man you see right there on your screen. If you're just joining us today, it has been a whirlwind. They have been looking for this man for more than 12 hours now. But here's how it all got started. Four sexual assaults on women and four men bound and gagged with duct tape at Cambridge Woods Apartments. And that was just the beginning. It all started here on North 42nd Street, just north of Fletcher Avenue, just about a mile and a half from USF. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office telling us the armed suspect then left that apartment and went for his next random target at the Eagles Point Apartments off Skipper Road, just a couple miles away, where he burst into a woman's apartment. That woman uh, was able to establish a, a conversation with him. And um, he left without uh, harming her. Our crew spotted canine units on the ground just after daybreak. Heavy police and deputy presence in the area. Even the discovery of this, a credit card of one of the victims at the first crime scene. But this wasn't this brazen criminal's last stop. He then forced uh, those 25 people uh, into a, in a back bedroom at gunpoint. Uh, but for whatever reason, he left before committing any offenses there other than firing uh, one shot into the ground. On his way out, he ran into someone walking in the complex and deputies say he fired at him. Thankfully, none of the shots connected. Still no word on how long it took the suspect to make his random and unwanted house calls, but from the ground and by air, multiple agencies checked out every tip, hoping for a capture. Well, several of these incidents occurred because uh, the doors were 